I am pleased to present to you the first travel team bout of the season as Portland's All-Stars, the Wheels of Justice, take on the Detroit Derby Girls all the way from snowy Michigan. Now, before we get this bout underway, would everyone please rise for the singing of the national anthem. Our guest singer tonight is Jen Deal. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave oh the land of the free and the whole Thank you very much, Jen. Working on the microphone tonight with me is Magic Pony Power Hour. Thank and all you. The way from Detroit, AK 40 Ounce. No. Now, before we start bringing out all these lovely teams for you, I'd like to introduce tonight's referee crew, headed by Wench Warden. Give a little love to all of your officials wearing stripes for the evening. And now, Portland, it is my proudest privilege and highest honor to present to you from the mean streets of the Motor City, the hit makers from Motown, the Detroit Derby Girls! First up, please welcome the captain of the Detroit Derby Girls, number 2.8, the Phenom R -r 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 Racer McChaser! Assistant Captain of the Detroit Derby Girls, Boo! Delivers is in route. Number 100% and so much more. Please welcome Polly Fester! Keep it going for number 11. Eliminator! Number 1974, Honey Suck It! Number 22, Effin' Money! Number 313, Black Eyed Skis! Number 333, Cookie Rum! Number 
number 46, Fatal Femme. Number six, the role model of roller derby, L. Mick Fearsome. Number 68, Summer's Evil. Number 728, Combat Cat. Number 76, Del Bomber. And N20, Cool Whip. Ladies and gentlemen, the Detroit Derby Girls are managed by Big Paparazzi and Uniballer. One more time for the Detroit Derby Girl All-Stars. So far, what do you think? That's right. Coming into this game, both teams opening their WFTDA seasons here tonight. Detroit, of course, going on to play Rat City and then Ole to finish out a weekend road trip. Detroit very pumped up for this one. It's going to be a tough weekend, but they're looking for a big win to start things out. That is an impressive weekend's lineup indeed, AK. Who do we got on the jam line? That's the captain, Racer McChaser, wearing 2.8 in the red. And number 20, Sulfuric Acid for the Wheels of Justice. Looks like we've got everyone lined up and ready to go. 
the anticipation. It builds. And the first whistle will put the pack in play. Second whistle and the jammers are away. We've got a slow start off that first whistle. Very tight pack. Getting a little spread out now. Sulfuric acid making her way through up, getting released as Detroit is getting notified, being out of play, and acid is your lead jammer. That's right, nice job by Rose City, containing Racer McChaser, dropping back and forcing the Detroit blockers out front to let go of Sulfuric acid, allowing her to gain lead jammer. Well, it looks like a rotating wall is taking out Racer one by one as Acid is back through the pack and completing her first scoring pass just as Racer is clearing her initial. That's right, it's gonna be five high in the sky for Sulfuric Acid. She did pick up the lap and that's a grand slam for Rose City to start things off. Rose City Rollers would like to thank Orthopedic Fracture Clinic, the official sports medicine providers for your Rose City Rollers. Thank you. Detroit's gonna drop a little money on the PBR jammer line. Number 22, effing money with the star in the red. And we've got number 54, White Flight, rocking that purple star for the Wheels of Justice. Pack is off with another slow start. Tight, thick packs. White Flight headed to the outside, gets bumped out by Cookie Rumble, forces the cut. Rose City's jammer. Taking a minor, cutting the track, re-entering in front of that blocker, but she's quickly up the outside and gets lead jammer. Nice job right there. She got caught up a little bit, but she fought hard, got out front and picked up lead for her team. Effin' Money now breaking out of the pack as well for Detroit. Heidi Go Seek making it hard for her to clear that last line of defense. We've got White Flight coming in for her first scoring pass. Nice offensive block from Napalm Beth in the back. Got the momentum rolling. White Flight slides through four quick points and she'll call it off for Rose City. One point picked up by F and Money before that one was over for Detroit. Get Fit Training, the official fitness trainers of your Rose City Rollers. We have got Captain Scratcher in the eye on the PBR jam line for the Wheels of Justice. And for Detroit, number 1974, that's Honey Suck It. Now, AK, these have been very quick jams. Pick up a few points and call it off. That's right, as we're seeing this game of flat track roller derby develop, these high level teams usually want to take advantage of quick points Ooh. and then call it off. Big hit there. Sending Moby Wan Kenobi out for a major elbow as scratching the eye, taking the inside and getting lead jammer. Honey Suck it slowed up by that hit. It looked like it got her a little high. Official call, major elbow. Gets forced to the outside right there. And now stuck in the back of the pack by Mel Mangos. Scratching the eye, trying to make her way through for her first, first scoring pass. Honey getting recycled and getting stuck behind that big purple wall in the front of the pack there. Not to be outdone. Polly knocking Scratcher and holding her in the back of the pack as well, preventing her from picking up any points. Another big hit from Mel Mango. She's got Honey Suck it in her sights. Threw that hip check into her and slowed her down. She's back up there. She's got a wall of purple up front, but Mel Mango's all over number 1974. Forces her out and down on the inside. Scratch in the eye pushes her way by her teammates, picking up five points. Honey still looking to get by that wall of Cadillac and Blood Claudia, partnering up with Mel Mangles up there, like you mentioned. That's right, four on three on the track right now. Rose City with a blocker in the box, just under 10 seconds back on the track. Full string, full strength, both teams, as Honey Suck it knocked down to the inside. And Rose City slides through for another scoring pass. Just as Detroit loses one of its blockers to the penalty box, we've got a standstill on the track now. That's right, Polly Fester headed to the sin bin. So now a four on three in favor of Portland. That is your two minutes. Pony, what do you got for us? I got barefoot wine and bubbly. Rose City Rollers proud to serve 
Barefoot, wine, and bubbly at all our routes. Toddle on over and pick up some right now. Big jam for the Wheels of Justice in that one. Extends the lead 19 to one right now in favor of the home team. But Detroit's gonna send Cookie Rumble to the jammer line. But first, we have a timeout. Detroit using one of its team timeouts. For those of you, this is your first derby bout. Every team gets three timeouts for an entire bout. Your timeout's gonna be one minute. It's just a good thing to kind of break up, regroup, talk a little strategy, take a breather. Absolutely, and with a strong opening right there from the Wheels of Justice, Detroit might have to just shake off that travel dust, talk some strategy, get pumped up, and it looks like Boo Delivers, number 24-7 for Detroit, finally got here from the airport. Well, and I gotta say, flying in and skating the same day it's definitely a testament of endurance. Because <laughs> if you don't know what jet lag feels like just as a regular traveler, imagine then competing your heart out in just a few hours. That's right, I flew out here today and I tell you, my legs are tired. That was not supposed to be a play on the old joke. It's that jet lag kicking in. Who I can't imagine skating out there, but these are some tough, tough girls. All right, Cookie Rumble back to the jammer line for Detroit. Sully Skullkerger jamming for the Wheels of Justice. Detroit still down a blocker from the previous jam. And here we go, back to the action with 24-53 left to play in the first half. Well, it looks like number 313 is getting waved off as being an excessive player on the track for Detroit. That's right, too many skaters on the track for Detroit. Had four out there, but one in the box. Meanwhile, Sully Soul Kicker breaks out. She is not lead though, did not pass everybody on the track legally. Cookie Rumble breaks free, shrugs off a hit and calls it off right there as Sully had the advantage on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love tonight's bout, and believe me, you will, why don't you go toddle on over to our website and you can pick up the DVD and relive all of this heart-pounding action at some other time. That's our website, rosecityrollers.com. Well, okay, that was a really fast jam with Detroit calling it off before Sully could make it to the pack and pick up any points, a smart move. That's right, Cookie Rumble, veteran skater, now a veteran jammer with Detroit. She knows her strategy and she knew it was smart to call it off right now. Speaking of experienced jammers, Racer McChaser for Detroit gets held up in the back. Meanwhile, Sulfuric Acid through the pack quickly, picking up a lead jammer. Wheels of Justice dominating their offense in the front of the pack there. Detroit with only two blockers on the track right now. And a little confusion out there. Detroit has dropped back. Now they've got three as Polly Fester is freed from the box. Acid has made her way through the pack for five points on her first scoring pass. Moby Wan Kanomi sitting in the back of the pack making Racer work, work hard to make her way to, to the front. She a lot of hitting in that pack out there. They're keeping it pretty tight. The only time we're seeing it spread out is when skaters are getting knocked down. A whole lot of hitting from both of these two teams. Racer making her way to the front of the pack. Unfortunately, that was right into the back of Mel Mangles, knocking her to the inside of the track. Mel Mangles already making a strong case for her blocking skills out there. She is all over the Detroit Jammers. They gotta find something to break her free. Moby on Kenobi had been in the back of the pack, moved her way to the front, clearing a path for Acid to get on through and pick up another five points. So far, 10 points on this one. Rose City dominating the front of that pack. Tight, tight walls up there. Racer trying to take her way on the outside. Unfortunately, she's got Mick Swagger and Heidi Go Seek partnering up with Mel Mangles as Acid breezes on by for another five points. Racer McChaser breaks free on her first initial pass. She is out of that pack now and can do some scoring, but Mel already putting some hurt on Detroit. Rose City Rollers would like to thank Kay's Bar, Selwood's Watering Hole, and proud sponsors of tonight's Wheels of Justice. 
on the PBR jammer line. It looks like it's going to be effing money for Detroit. White fly for the wheels of justice. And a four on four up front in the pack to start things off at full strength. I gotta say, AK, 10 minutes into this period, and it's been a fairly clean game. We've seen barely anyone going to the penalty box so far. Yeah, only three or four penalties. That's always nice to see. White Flight trying to work her way up the middle of the pack there. Detroit taking a little cue from Wheels, building that front wall, holding White Flight back. Wow, nice solid check from Del Bomber right there. But White Flight shrugs it off, stays on her feet, gets out front, lead jammer, Rose City. Meanwhile, we've got Effin still sitting in the back of the pack there, using her teammate to assist off of. Detroit using the go pen, trying to trap a Rose City skater. Meanwhile, White Flight flies through around the outside, and she is through for a scoring pass. Four more points up on the board for the Wheels of Justice, extending their lead now 38 to 1. Getting a little push from her teammate Cadillac as she was clearing that pack. It looks like White Flight is getting a little bit of offense there and calling off the jam. Well, no more points on that one, but a big hit right at the end there. Cadillac getting a fender bender from Del Bomber. Rose City Rollers would like to thank the Jupiter Hotel, the official crash pad of Rose City Roller fans everywhere. Get a 15% discount on rooms from our website, the Jupiter Hotel. Still keeping it clean, still full strength out there. And it's gonna be Cookie Rumble rocking 3-3-3 three, 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 three on the jammer line for Detroit. And 2-4-3, scratch her in the eye for the Wheels of Justice. Nice maneuver right there. Gets around Detroit's back locker, but gets bumped to the outside. Clips Ooh. a referee right there. Scratch. Still fighting through to the front. She does shrug it off. She gets through, but it's not lead jammer. No pass, no penalty. She got knocked out of bounds, but her blocker fell to her knee. She got back in without cutting the track penalty, but unfortunately did not legally pass her, and she is not Lee Jammer. That's right, trying to fight her way through. Cookie Rumble coming back and playing some defense as the Jammer for Detroit. Combat Cat throwing a big hit, sending the Rose City Jammer into the infield. And I feel special. Scratcher dancing around that last line of defense for Detroit, picking up four points for the Wheels of Justice. Detroit still trying to fight their way through. Nice offensive block there by Booty Livers. But Rose City keeping those walls very tight up front, maintaining control of the front of that pack. Wheels of Justice slowing down to a standstill, giving Scratcher in the eye opportunity to eye those openings in the pack. And use JK to whip off her hips and clear for another four points. Mel Mangles, nothing but trouble for the Detroit Jammers. She has got her sight set on that red and black starred helmet panty. Detroit building the back wall, holding Scratcher back momentarily, knocking her out of bounds. Cookie Rumble gets out front, rolls off of a block, gets lead and calls it off real quick, stops the scoring for the Wheels of Justice, who push their lead up 50 to one now with 18 left in the first half. Rose City Rollers would like to thank Sock Dreams, unique, sexy, comfy socks for the roller girl and everyone, and uh, the tanker, Hawthorne's favorite, Ship Shape Bar, happy hour daily from three to eight. On the PBR jammer line, it's gonna be Honey Suck It for Detroit. And Sully Skull Kicker for the Wheels of Justice rocking the stars. Both jammers trying to take the outside. Sully finding the opportunity before Honey got knocked out of bounds there. Wow, met some strong resistance from Polly Fester, but kept going, rolled around her, and Detroit ends up back in the back while meanwhile, the Wheels of Justice have picked up lead jammer. Tough, tough defense from this Portland team. Honey Suckett still stuck in the pack on her first pass. And so far that has been the story in this game. Meanwhile, Wheels of Justice jammer Sully Skullkicker gets around Polly Fester and another five points on the board for the WOJ. 
Honey still working her way around the back of the pack there as Sully enters in for another scoring pass. Detroit's front wall holding Sully back as Honey clears for her initial pass there. Little dual purpose wall helps Honey Socket get out for Detroit and holds Sully back. Detroit doing an excellent job of choking that inside line, but Sully whisks around and calls off the jam, not before picking up another five points. I gotta tell you, Dragon Lady, coming into this game, very impressed right now. Wheels of Justice, very good on their skates, keeping their balance very well. They're taking those hip checks and they are staying up. Well, I've heard the nickname Walls of Justice before, and, and they're definitely showing it out there on the track tonight. That's right, they are living up to it. All right, three on three in the pack right now. Each team down a blocker in the box. And it's gonna be Racer McChaser out there for Detroit. No pack situation, Racer breaks free. Lead jammer goes to Detroit. Sulfira Casta jamming for the Wheels of Justice, trying to get a whip from her teammate Moby Wan Kenobi, but goes down from number 76 there on the outside. Nice hustle by Del Bomber, inside, outside, inside, outside, catches the hip of Wheels of Justice jammer, slows her down just enough. She is out right now, but nice job by Detroit, getting some control in that pack. Now we got the Wheels of Justice speeding up, making it as difficult as possible for a racer to get up there and pass someone's hips, picking up some points. No pack situation getting called, which is gonna send Moby Wan Kenobi out to the box for an out of play penalty. That's right, Racer McChaser up to the front, has one to get around, cannot do it. She'll call it off right there. No points for the Wheels of Justice and four points for Detroit. So Detroit finally gets a couple extra points here. 1440 left to play. And that's the first jam win for Detroit. And I'm sure they're hoping they're starting to turn things around here. Rose City Rollers would like to thank Big Town Hero. Big Town Hero feeding friends and foes alike. Big Town Hero, proud sponsors of your Rose City Rollers. One each in the Rebel Jeweler penalty box. As the jam starts, it's gonna be white flight for the Wheels of Justice against the Detroit All-Stars jammer, Honey, er, effing money. Well, I'm seeing some big hits out there going on both jammers, but white flight takes the outside. Gets Lee Jammer, and unfortunately, Effin is going to the box for a cutting the track major. Not what Detroit needed right now. I gotta give props to Napalm Beth. Great job on that whip assist on the first pass for White Flight, helping her get out front. You gotta be careful when you get knocked out of bounds, re-entering in behind the person who put you there. Otherwise, you might incur a penalty and be out for one minute. Now looks Bit like of a break for Detroit. Mel Mangles headed to the box. She has been a thorn in the jammer's side. No jammer out there right now for the ladies in red, but that will definitely help their defense as they are now in a four on two situation. Advantage in the pack, Detroit. Advantage jammer, Portland. Well, and it looks like Napalm Beth taking out number 68, trying to trap her behind to form the pack definition, giving that giving the white flight there five points. Now Moby Wan Kenobi is getting sent out for a clockwise penalty. Second major penalty in, it seems, as many jams for Moby Wan Kenobi. Meanwhile. Number 68 doing an excellent job of riding white flight out of bounds and incurring a few minor cutting the track penalties as she's re-entering in front of her. F and money out of the box through the pack quickly. Four on two in favor of Detroit. Helps that out right now. Meanwhile, White Flight still having some trouble getting through that Detroit back. Detroit having a strong front wall there, making White Flight earn those points, picking up three before she decides to call it off. Pony, what do you got for us? I got Rose City Roller season passes are still on sale. So many bouts, so many savings. Get into the 2011 Western Regionals tournaments as well. Pick up your season passes at rosecityrollers.com. Scratcher in the eye, jamming for the Wheels of Justice. And it looks like it's gonna be Polly Fester, first time on the line for Detroit. Wheels still down a blocker with Mo sitting in the penalty box. Cadillac barely crossing the pivot line. 
And we've got our second whistle. Nice job, they got that kill in there pretty good. And a little assistance from the Portland Jammer. Meanwhile, Polly Fester quickly, quickly through the inside line. She is out, lead jammer goes to Detroit. And a pile of skaters litter turn four. Detroit doing an excellent job focusing everyone's attention on Scratcher. Distracting him just enough to give an opening to, for Polly to pick up Lee Jammer. And Five a points. Grand slam for Polly Fest. Rose City Rollers would like to thank the Mercury, Portland so for, Source for. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you notice players and referees taking a knee because there's an injury on the track that gives our medical personnel a chance to get out there and make sure everything's okay and eliminate any confusion. Big hand for Scratcher in the eye. Got a little banged up, but she'll be all right and back in. Uh, after three jams, at least, of course, you have to sit three jams if a jam is called for injury. It's a safety rule. All right, back to get things rolling. It's going to be Polly Fester back to the line for Detroit, coming off their first Grand Slam. Looking to do it again, and she's going to be up against Sully Skullkicker for the Wheels of Justice. Well, we've got about 11 minutes left in this first period. And I think this injury has turned into an official timeout. Just a chance for everyone to get everything in order before we get this action back underway. 68-10 right now in favor of the home team, the Wheels of Justice, with a pretty solid lead here with 11.06 left to play in the first half. And some very tough defense from the ladies Sorry, in purple Internet. helped that happen. Of course, some good jams. Sully Skullkicker adding to those, of course. We'll see what she can do against Polly Fester, who just had a big jam for the ladies in D. Well, it looks like we got Polly giving a little nudge there to Sully right off that second whistle. Sully getting knocked out of bounds there time and time again at turn two, getting held in the back of the pack. Meanwhile, Polly fighting her way on the inside of the track, but Sully is through and is your lead jammer. Black Eyed Skis almost had her right there, but was getting beat on the other side by one of the Portland blockers. Looks like Mickey Cry is sticking with Polly and not letting her even get near that front purple wall. And a very tough, tight wall that is and has been so far tonight. Solly getting knocked almost into her own team bench there. <laughs> as this pack is practically at a standstill. Blood Claudia, nice job. Knocked Polly Fester to the inside, did the old knockout drag back. And that allows a grand slam for Sully Skullkicker. Polly almost making her way through the pack there, getting knocked to the inside by one Miss Blood Claudia. <laughs> Sully comes up, catches a mean shoulder from Black Eyed Skis, gets tripped up on the rope and has to go back to the back of the pack. Things down to a crawl, maybe a little bit backwards, maybe a little bit forwards, but a very, very slow pack out there. It almost looks like each jammer is having a slow dance with their respective blocking wall there. <laughs> Sully takes to the outside, gets hit by Cookie Rumble, and then another hit from Black Eyed Skis, gets some assistance up front, comes through for another Grand Slam. Polly's still working her way past that front wall of defense that Purple has built up there, keeping an eye out for Sully, coming around for her next scoring pass, going in for her own hit, and that's, uh, that's your two minutes. No points on that pass for the Wheels of Justice. No points that jam for Detroit. Rose City Rollers would like to thank the New Belgian Brewing Company, Fat Tire Ale. Follow your folly right on over to concessions right now and pick up a can. And uh, halftime's coming up, folks. Time to pick up your raffle tickets. Sulfuric acid jamming for the Wheels of Justice. And boom. Delivers number 24-7, first time on the jammer line for Detroit. 
Both jammers almost taking an identical path through. Sulfur Gasset picking up lead jammer, getting pulled back into the pack, but that is not going to erase her lead status. Getting knocked out of bounds, but her blocker hit the floor, so she is through. Oh, and a mean hit, White Flight comes in, knocks Booty Livers to the inside. She gets reabsorbed back into the pack. Booty already drawing a major back block, which sent Mel Mangles to the box, which means four on three right now for Detroit. Rita Range not letting Booty by without a fight as Sulfuric Acid is coming through for another scoring pass. And Rhea's last nudge there taking Booty down at turn four. Rhea Derange, great hustle, good effort, stayed on top of Booty Livers, knocked her down and helped that grand slam as well as keeping Detroit from getting out of that pack. Now it looks like Heidi Gosey getting sent to the penalty box for cutting the track major. Rhea Derange going down, Booty Livers going down with her. Detroit focusing all of its effort in front of the pack Choking up on sulfuric acid there. Nice job. Al McPherson was staying on top of sulfuric acid. Mel Mangles out of the box and causes a whole lot of damage on her way through. Clears the path. Another grand slam for Rose City. That woman is a one wrecking ball crew of her own. Sulfuric gets in, gets around one and no points. One point, excuse me, calls it off. You can hear the call it from space coming from the Rose City bench. Ladies and gentlemen, after a bout like this, you can guarantee some of our ladies are gonna be calling uh, Nicole Saunders from Medical Massage Northwest, proud sponsor of your Rose City Rollers. Captain Cadillac jamming for the Wheels of Justice. And Racer McChaser revved up for Detroit. Looking to start chipping away at this lead, 89-10 right now in favor of the Wheels of Justice. Wheels of Justice still down one blocker with Heidi Gosek cooling her wheels in the Rebel Jeweler penalty box. Racer McChaser, lead jammer for Detroit. Meanwhile, nice effort, Del Bomber getting across and knocking Cadillac out, which slows her up. She does break through the pack though. Detroit chasing Cadillac through the pack, but that front wall dropped back, pushing them all into the inside, giving Cadillac a huge opening to take the outside. Meanwhile, Racer McChaser gets a little assistance, gets up front, calls it off. One, two, three, four more points for Detroit. And that is gonna help out right now with 518, 17, 16 left to play in the first half. Detroit needs all the points it can get, getting some momentum into the second. Sully Skull Kicker back on the PBR jam line for the Wheels of Justice. And it's gonna be effing money for Detroit. Four on four up front, box is clear. Oh my goodness, we have 10 skaters on the track. I don't even know what to do with myself. Usually only see that at the beginning of the game. Ooh, Sully almost getting taken out by her own down teammate, Mick Swagger, but she is back. Meanwhile, we got F and Money fighting her way up the inside. And some nasty blocking in there. Lots of skaters getting knocked around. It is tough in that pack. F and Money stuck up front behind Blood Claudia's prodigious booty block. Lead Jammer goes to F and Money as she does break through. Not only is she lead jammer, but she is the only jammer in the track as Sully Skull Kicker is going to the penalty box for a major back block. That's right, this one going out to my homie out in Denver, now LA, power jam for Detroit. F and money with the lead. Four on four in the pack right now, but a great opportunity for Detroit to get some points on the board. Wheels of Justice sitting at the front of the pack, trying to keep a fast pace, making as difficult as possible for F and you lap around them and pick up those points. But they gotta be careful, they don't create a no pack situation. 11 yeah. feet separating those two teams can come pretty fast. Detroit getting up there, they were doing a real nice job chipping away at those rose blockers. They've got one trapped in the back. 
And as those blockers are out of play, they gotta let her go. Grand slam on the power jam for number 22, effing money. Now it's the Wheels of Justice taking a slow pace, waiting for Effin to come back around for another scoring pass. Or maybe they were just killing a little time. We've got Sully's Hole Kicker back out on the track. That's right, initial pass. Evan Money had some good steam going into that pack, but Layla Smackdown saw her coming and sent her out. Looks like that's gonna be four points for Sully Skull Kicker and three more for Evan Money. So an 8 4 jam in favor of Detroit. If you're wondering what the Wheels of Justice will be up to next, they'll be in Bremerton, Washington in a month to compete in the Wild West Showdown. That's March 4th through the 6th. They'll be competing against the Denver Roller Dolls, Rat City Roller Girls, and the Philly Roller Girls. Show your ladies some purple, some love, and head on up to Bremerton for the Wild West Showdown. Sulfuric Acid jamming for the Wheels of Justice. And she's up against Polly Fester, playing a little bit of defense right there. But Sulfuric Acid, great speed, gets her on a block from Fatal Femme, and she is lead jammer. Detroit one dot. Down one blocker in the Rebel penalty box, but that is not slowing Polly down too much as she clears for her initial pass. That's right, definite help right there as Detroit is down Cookie Rumble. Quickly through that pack, Sulfuric Acid picks up another four points. Rose City Rollers would like to thank the Brew, serving up six and 12 packs of hits all day long, just like your Wheels of Justice. VA Cadillac on the PBR jam line for the Wheels of Justice. And Racer McChaser for the Detroit Derby Girls. We've got an official timeout on the floor, though. Oh, well, we're in our official timeout. Join us as we continue the 2011 home season on Saturday, March 19th when the Guns and Rollers face off against the High Rollers at the Hangar in Oaks Park, right here. Tickets on sale now. Randy Pandy, you got anything for us? Firefighter, nothing big. Is this thing on? No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> I got it. And it looks like White Flight got her fourth minor there at the end of that jam and got sent to the penalty box. I think your mute button's on your microphone, Randy Pan. That's right, all right, off the PBR jammer line, Racer McChaser and Cadillac for their respective squads. Racer, a whole lot of speed going in, but throws it to a quick stop. Has to get around one, but that wall, it's amorphous, it keeps reforming and adjusting. Well, Cadillac getting choked up by that back wall of red, but she dances around that pivot. Not quite your lead jammer, no pass, no penalty. Detroit, of course, can still get lead jammer if they can get Racer McChaser. Out, she throws Cool Whip into the inside. Breaks out, not lead jammer, though. Well, she apparently picked up a minor on her way through the pack as well. That means this jam is gonna go for the full two minutes. Cadillac meets up with Cookie Rumble, sends her to the outside. I feel like there should be some really witty joke about Detroit and Cadillac right now, but oh, it's not coming one. to me. Three <laughs> points on that pass for Cadillac. Missed one. One cylinder misfiring on the outside. Cookie Rumble, the cause of that combustion error. Layla Smackdown and White Flight making it tough for Racer to clear that last line of defense trying to push her way through and 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 there she goes picking up four points for Detroit Cadillac still fighting her way through dodges a hit from Del Bomber who has been throwing her shoulders around but cannot avoid cool whip big hit and then racer McChaser keeps the hurt coming it's a one car pileup and that Cadillac is slow rolling. Pack a little confusing, but it looks like Racer may chase it to the box. So Rose City will start with a power jam in the second half. 
Well, mm. it looks like at the end of the halftime there, we've got the Wheels of Justice sitting at 103, Detroit 26. We've got a 15 minute halftime. And if you didn't hear already, there's a raffle going on in about 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that raffle will be in 10 minutes. We've got photography package from Timothy Murray and a $30 gift certificate to Montage Bistro. An excellent package. Buy your tickets. Buy them now. They're on sale for another 10 minutes. So they gave me a demo. I mean, it was working. Susan B. coming live. We're all going to restart now. Susan B. Anarchy here live at the Oaks Park Hangar, where all the way from Detroit to Motor City, Detroit has come to play our Wheels of Justice. Um, incredible game so far. We're about at the half. Very big lead for Wheels of Justice. Um, people are calling them the Walls of Justice tonight, and with good reason. We hope you're tuning in from far and wide. Um, big shout out first, though, to Blaze Streaming Media for tonight's productions. And thanks to all the viewers out there for watching and watching in high def at rosecityrollers.com. If you're interested in more information about tonight's bout or our upcoming bouts, it's going to be available on DVD. Well, actually, tonight's bout is available on DVD this week. Bear with me. I got a little cold going on. Not pretty. I'm doing the best I can, and they're giving me dead mics. But later this week, DVD coming out of tonight's bout if you want to see it again, see what makes the wheels slash walls of justice so amazing. Or you can go to the merch store at rosecityrollers.com and get yourself a copy of that, all kinds of gear, all kinds of sweet RCR swag. It'll be pretty awesome. If you haven't bought your ticket for tomorrow's bout here at the hangar for the Heartless Heathers versus the High Rollers, too late. You better know somebody because it's sold out. However, tomorrow here, 5.45 p.m. Pacific time, um, it's going to be broadcasting live again, thanks to Blaze Streaming Media and Front Row Derby. Um, it's going to be another amazing game. I'm sorry you didn't get tickets, but you need to make friends a little sooner, I'm guessing. Um, get your tickets in advance. Like I said, the bouts at the hangar have been selling out insanely fast, um, this season in particular. We even had a Rosebuds bout the last Sunday, just about sold out, and, you know, that was, that was pretty awesome. So you need to get on it early or get season tickets. Um, upcoming games that we're having are going to be the March 19th Guns and Rollers versus the High Rollers game, April 2nd Breakneck Bettys versus the Heartless Heathers, and it's all going to be at RoseCityRollers.com. If you'd like your business sponsored here during this shenanigan with Susan and company, um, contact RocketMean at RocketMean at RoseCityRollers.com, and you'll be able to get in on this sweet action. I'm looking around. I'm not sure if I have a whole lot of interviews happening just yet, but we have some delightful jam skaters performing. And just to talk a little about what we're seeing, Detroit's really having a fight for every little point. Um, Wheels of Justice are doing an incredible job of being all together all the time and really making them work. Um, the Detroit jammers are having an incredible time getting through. And even when they do get through, they're having a tough time scoring. Um, to Detroit's credit, though, they're really making some good, solid, strong walls, and they're hitting really hard. Um, haven't seen a whole lot of penalty trouble just yet, but in the second half, it may change. Um, you got to stay tuned and keep watching because you never know. 
Um, I'm not exactly sure what bars are streaming tonight's bout, but if you're at one of them, hello, and thank you for watching. Um, gonna be back at the end of the game, I'm guessing with some sweet interviews, but in the interim, I may just hand you back to Dragon Lady, and that's cool too. Stay tuned for more, it's gonna be a great second half. Really hoping that Detroit's making magic right now in the locker room and figuring out how to counter those, those major blocking walls that Rose City's knocking out tonight. So, questions, comments, or curses? I don't hear anything. So you're going back to Dragon Lady, and I will be back with you at the end of the game to hopefully do some sweet interviews. Thank you. Five years old, he loves it when you clap for him. All right, good job, Deshaun. Next is Deshaun's brother, Kai. The family that skates together. Find him every Friday, Saturday night over at the rink. Awesome job, Kai. All right, great job. Next is Corey. Corey is 14. Corey's basically been skating here his whole life. It's a little different than skating on a wood floor. Good job, Corey. All right, next up, another 14-year-old, Noah. Give it up for Noah. Give it up for Noah. Next is Amethyst. She's one of our instructors over at Oak Park. Teaches jam skating. Also works in the skate shop. Next up, we have a visitor from Gresham. This is Nick. Nick is 17. Starting to skate over here at Oaks a little too. Change the song.
is Spencer. Spencer's also one of the instructors here at Oaks Park, and uh, my assistant downstairs selling stuff at the booth. Give away some swag. Our first drawing for the evening. Everybody got your tickets out. Get your tickets out. Check your numbers. Our first drawing for the evening is a $30 gift certificate to Cafe Montauk. Draw, 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 draw. And the number is? Four, five, two, nine, six, two. Four, five, two, nine, six, two. Check your tickets. Four, five, two, nine, six, two. Make yourself known. Bring it on over, rush. Let's see that ticket. I'm buying it, give him the gift certificate. Thank you. Our next drawing will be for a two hour photo session with Timothy Murray Photography. Draw. This is two hours of Timothy Murray taking pictures of anything you want. What's the number? Four, five, two, nine, six, three. Four, five, two, nine, uh, six, three. Two hours with Timothy Murray photography. Four, five, two, nine, uh, six, three. Make yourself known. Who's got it? Shout it out, I don't see you. It's the same guy. Congratulations, Grand Slam raffle winner. He won fair and square run. All right, thank you very much. Magic Pony Power Hour out. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark from Oaks Park. Please report to the front door. Mark from Oaks. All right, folks, get ready to start the second half of Dirty Action. 
103-26 in favor of the Wheels of Justice and a power jam to start things off. It's White Flight quickly through that pack on the inside. Lead jammer right away, Wheels of Justice. Wheels of Justice doing what they can to keep this pack at a standstill, making it easy for White Flight to pick up a five-point Grand Slam. Nice job staying up and in on the outside as she slides through again, round the outside, another five points. Back to back, grand slams very, very quickly. Detroit building a strong three wall in the back, deciding to shift their focus in the front, but that doesn't seem to slow White Flight down as she picks up another nickel. Wheels of Justice playing tight together. Detroit in a 2 2. Del Bomber right there tries to get. White Flight clips her right there and she ends up going down. And finally that shoulder did take her out. Slow getting up right there and she'll call it off. That's enough for her for this jam, but a good jam for her. I tell you what, picked up another pass. Three points there for the wheels. Pony? Rose. 13 point double grand slam and an extra trio for White Flight to kick things off. Rose and Rose would like to thank Barefoot Wine and Bubbly, RCR proudly serving Barefoot Wine and Bubbly at all our bouts. I've been resisting the urge to get a hold of you. I kind of wanted to give you a chance to settle in. I knew 18 points make that for a white flight on that first jam of the second you half. Sulfuric acid jamming for the wheels of justice. And Racer McChaser bobbing and weaving her way around that back. Meanwhile, Sulfuric goes down oh, some tough D from the D. Up. Meanwhile, way out front. Racer McChaser breaks through, lead jammer Detroit. Acid going down, taking out half the pack with her, and it looks like when she was doing that, she incurred a penalty, and she is going to the Rebel Jeweler penalty box for one minute. Detroit had a strong wall in the back right there, tried to trap one of those blockers, and Racer McChaser on the power jam, looking for a little bit of a help as the wheels maintain that wall of justice up front. Now we got Layla Smackdown riding her out of bounds. Detroit taking her out and likely gonna be trapping her here. Another big takedown for Del Bomber, who has been bombing the Wheels of Justice block as Racer McChaser makes it up to the front, calls it off real quick. Another four points. Rosity Ro Rose Rollers wants to thank the Delta Cafe, Amazing Southern Fair, Big Eats, and Stiff Drinks. Check out the coupon in our program. The Delta Cafe. Acid still serving her penalty out at the Rebel Jeweler penalty box. Who do we got there jamming, AK? Effing money on the power jam for Detroit. Four on three in favor of the Wheels of Justice. Up front though, Detroit just playing offense. Rose just playing defense. Moby Wan Kenobi forcing Effin out of bounds, falling back, forcing her to get back a little further than she would have liked. Effin Money, good job, makes it up to the front, gets knocked down, big hit from Mick Swagger up front. They force Effin Money back into that pack. Nice one-two punch there between Mick and Moby Wan Kenobi. Effin Money gets out front, gets a little bit of a shoulder, but she does get lead jammer before she is out. We've got Sulfuric Acid back out on the track for the Wheels of Justice. Effin falling back to avoid a cutting the track penalty. That doesn't dismiss the fact that you're lead jammer. And Effin Money getting called for the back block right there. So Detroit is gonna be down their lead jammer. They lose that advantage. Meanwhile, grand slam right there for Sulfuric Acid. Now we've got Mick Swagger getting sent out of the penalty box as well. Eliminator going for a big hit right there, but Sulfuric Acid manages to dodge it. Another grand slam for number 20. Wheels of Justice dominating the middle of the pack there. Looking for that opportunity to help Acid through as she's looking to finish another scoring pass and picks up another five points. Weaves her way through those blockers, stopping because they were dangerously close. Two out of play. And she just found her way through like she was weaving through cones of practice. Detroit smartly trying to speed up there. Unfortunately, it looks like the Wheels of Justice have trapped number 11. That's Eliminator, but they do manage 
to knock her out of bounds. Meanwhile, Pack reforming up front, and it looks like Sulfuric Acid is going to the box. I believe it was a major cut. So we'll start with both jammers in the box at the beginning of the jam. F and Money will be released first for Detroit. It looks like we've got... Well, it looks like we've got a team timeout, possibly an official review. Yep, the managers are going into the middle, so they're gonna talk to the referees, sort things out. In a second here, we're probably gonna get a word here from Randy Pan, provided his microphone is working this time around. <laughs> One can only hope. We have an official review on the cut major on 20. Paying attention. The call stands. It is a cut. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Randy. Well, it looks like the Detroit getting trapped in the back there, number 11, while it seemed like a start strategy move for the Wheels of Justice, kind of backfired on them since that was the blocker that took Acid out, and she is the blocker that Acid cut. That's right. Cannot cut the track. Major penalty in this case. So Detroit will start with their jammer in the box. The Wheels of Justice will start with their jammer in the box. And F and Money will be released. Meanwhile, Honey Suck It picks up her fourth minor for a legal procedure. And she'll clear out her penalty slate. We have a divided pack out there. Looks like teams are just trying to jockey for position. Waiting for a jammer to actually get around before they decide what they're going to do. Three on three on the track right now. Evan Money getting bumped to the outside, but they say, okay, she stayed inside. She gets out front, lead jammer as she dodges a hit nice from Blood Claudia. Blood Claudia going in for a big swooping hit there, taking herself out instead. Evan Money, stable on her skates, back around for her first scoring pass. Meet some resistance right off the bat. A little two-person wall from the Wheels of Justice. Booty Livers helps to clear some of that out. Pack spread out right now. F and Money working her way around. She gets around Cadillac, though, and that's five in the sky. Grand slam for F and Money. Wheels of Justice losing Blood Claudia for a major low block trip. But they do get their jammer back. So three on three in the pack. Jammer's on the track. And you just rhymed. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Sulfuric Acid out of there. Meanwhile, F and Money already scoring points. For Detroit, pack a little spread out. Nice job recycling by the Wheels of Justice. They get back up front, but not before any effing money picks up four more points for Detroit. So nine point jam for number 22. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing play like this doesn't happen all by itself. It happens because of Get Fit Training, official fitness trainers of your Rose City Rollers. Soli Skull Kicker jamming for the roast, uh, Wheels of Justice. And that's Cookie Rumble number 333 with the star for Detroit. Is that the first time that she's jammed night for Detroit? No, she jammed early in the first half. Cookie Rumble, veteran blocker, known to outblock entire teams, has taken a turn with the jammer star in these last two seasons of her career, though. Well, and it looks like she's having a tough time getting around Rearrange and Layla Smackdown as Sully pushes her way by and picks up Lee Jammer. Great job by Sully Skull Kicker right there. She saw they had the wall on Detroit's Jammer, got a little bit of an assist and helped the blocking out when she pushed number 55. That was Layla Smackdown into Cookie Rumble. Sully eyeing her opportunity to get around that tough little Detroit blocker in the back. Now she's just got to get around the front. Picking up. Oh, and it looks like major cut. Racer McChaser for Sully Skull Kicker out of bounds. And no, outside pack ref said major cut. But that got denied. Uh, hmm. No pass, no penalty. The official clarification from the jam ref. 
The Rose City Rollers are proud to host the 2011 Women's Flat Track Derby Association Western Regional Tournament, September 23rd and 25th at the Memorial Coliseum. This weekend will feature top 10 teams in the Western Region with the three top teams advancing to the championships. Get tickets at rosecityrollers.com. White flight jamming for the wheels of justice. Three blockers out there for the WOJ, four for Detroit. And it's White Flight working oh. her way up. But a low block major forces her to stay in the pack. Booty Livers headed to the sin bin for that penalty. And White Flight gets out past Fatal Femme before Racer McChaser can get up there. Racer throws a little bit of hip action at White Flight. Well, we must have It's So Easy taking out the Detroit Dram Ref as well. Racer McChaser throws a hit into White Flight. She stays up and in bounds, and the crowd goes wild. White Flight calling off the jam, picking up two points to Detroit zero before, well, before Detroit can pick anything up. Pony, what do you have for us? All I got for you is play like this might lead you to needing to go to the Orthopedic and Fracture Clinic, the official sports medicine providers of your Rose City Rollers. Sulfuric Acid wearing the purple star. And in the black and red, it's effing money on the jammer line. She's got Cookie Rumble, Black Eyed Skis, and Del Bomber, all five-year veterans of Detroit in the pack. Four blockers out there for the Wheels of Justice right now. Slow start, the scratcher and Nick Barely creeping over that pivot line. Now everyone's picking up now that both jammers are in the pack. Acid slips up on the inside there, picking up lead jammer. F and Money headed to the outside, but gets bumped out. Strong defense to the outside right now from the Wheels of Justice. One-two punch from Layla and Mick Swagger there, taking her out of bounds. Getting forced out of bounds again on the turn. Effin doing a good job of making sure that she does not cut the track in front of the ladies who are knocking her out there. Meanwhile, Acid picking up five more points for the Wheels of Justice. Detroit still down a blocker, four on three right there. And speaking of fours, some force thrown around by Moby Wan Kenobi slows up Effin Money, who's caught in a wall. Acid trying to make her way back around for another scoring pass. Eyeing for that perfect moment. Picks up five more points. Nice leaping maneuver right there to get around those last blockers and pick up her grand slam. Effin to look a get around that last wall of Scratcher and Layla getting a little help from her teammate and now Wheels is out of play and she is cleared for her initial pass. She gets around for another scoring pass. Four more points for Sulfuric Acid. None points for Detroit. Rose City Rollers would like to thank Hope Baraka Realty and Dr. Bones, Dwight Dr. Bones, the official chiropractor of the RCR since day one. Thank you. Full packs on the track and away in the back. Cookie Rumble for Detroit. Sully Skull Kicker for the Wheels of Justice. And we're getting ready to go. 17, 36, 35, 34, 33 left to play in this game. Both teams waiting for the jammers. We've got Cookie trying to fight her way around Napalm Beth and Mel Mangles. Tough, tough defense in the back from Cool Whip. No pack situation getting called, letting Cookie get through. Lead jammer for Cookie Rumble and Detroit. Sully finally breaks free. Once the referees put their hands up in the air, nobody can hit or assist anyone out there without incurring a penalty, so you got to be careful. Cool Whip with a huge hit sends Sully Skull Kicker down. It looks like she ran into the back of the Detroit player. We've got Called a player down off. on the track. And that'll be the end of that one.
We want to remind everyone that these ladies train very hard for this hard-hitting sport of roller derby. Absolutely, and we always hate to see a skater go down. Doesn't matter what team you're on, what team you're rooting for. In this great family of derby, it's tough to see a comrade go down, but she is back up, so give her... Let's hear another round of applause yeah. for her. Took a tough fall right there, but she's back up on her feet. We have an official timeout being called by Wench Warden, our head ref. And uh, while Kill Nye from Portland Men's Roller Derby leads us in calisthenics, I want to tell you about tonight's after party. The after party after this bout will be at the B-side. That's at 632 Southeast Burnside. Your ticket or your wristband gets you in free. Check that party out. Buy your favorite derby girl a beer, some pizza. That's at the B side, 632 Southeast Burnside. Well, you don't have to limit yourself to a slice of pizza or beer. You could do both. No, I'm sure they have real cocktails there too. Well, this next jam, Detroit, is going to start off in a power jam situation since Sully Skull Kicker is still sitting in the penalty box from that previous jam. And amazingly, we have all eight blockers out there. Good for them. Yes, the Rebel Jewelry Box is free of blockers, but there's a shiny jammer in there. Randy Pan, do you have anything for us out there? Nothing to report from Randy Pan. Thanks, Randy. All right, full packs on the track. Power jam right now for number 1974, Honey Suck It. We've got Detroit taking a knee. I'm imagining fast whistles are going to ensue. Typically, that's what happens for the uninitiated and the Derby Virgins out there. When they start out and a team is not standing or taking a knee in this case, when the first whistle goes, the double whistle will go automatically and we get a quick jammer start. You're gonna be considered completely out of play, which is why you get that immediate start. Yep, there is no pack to start the jam. Things get rolling automatically. Packs spread out right now. Detroit doing their best to trap in the back. Out of play up front. Honey, suck it, meet some resistance, and it looks like Rita Range is going major out of play. Lead jammer, Honey, suck it, and the Detroit Derby Girls now with a four on three on the track. No jammer still for the wheels of justice. Well, and it looks like we've got some slow pay play being initiated by the wheels of justice, almost actually moving backwards to meet Honey as she was coming back around for her first scoring pass. Outside pack ref looked like it was signaling a major penalty, but Detroit I... now down. So, nope, it was Mick Swagger, as I thought, picked up the penalty. I'm guessing a clockwise block, but then again, I'm only yes, guessing. That was a stopped block. Meanwhile, out of the box, through the pack, and two no points, though, Sully Skullkirker for Rose City. Four more points, though, for Detroit on that jam. Rose City Rollers would like to thank PDX Pipeline, your source for online music, arts, and happenings. And Yelp, real people, real reviews. Get your cell phone out now and check in with Yelp. Tell them that you're at the hangar watching Rose City Rollers Derby. Just under 15 left to play in this game. Three on two in the pack in favor of Detroit. Rose City with a couple major penalties. Napalm Beth barely crossing that pivot line. I'm going to assume she's going to try and kill a little time to get her teammates out of the box. Regardless, White Flight quickly getting lead jammer for the Wheels of Justice. That's right. Racer McChaser jamming for Detroit. No pack situation right there. The major penalty goes to Del Bomber for pack destruction. Meanwhile, White Flight working her way around. Gets some assistance right there and gets out. Napalm Beth 
clearing that last line of defense, getting White Fly out. But Racer is wise to where White Flight is, holding her back, and Whitey calls off the jam. And there you go. Nice defensive jamming from Racer McChaser to end that one. Ladies and gentlemen, Bridgetown Automotive keeping RCR's engines humming on and off the track. Bridgetown Automotive. Sulfuric acid on the PBR jam line once again for the Wheels of Justice. And on the Paps Blue Ribbon jammer line, effing money for Detroit. Three and three in the pack, and their jam has started. Jam is on, but there was a false start. But no one's moving yet. That's okay, right. there we go. <laughs> and it looks like everybody's just trying to kill a little time, get their teammates no out of the situation. box. Slow whistle from the jam timer, but we are going here. A little bit of a confusing and slow start in that jam. Asa getting knocked outside. Now she's getting knocked inside. And Evan Money is through lead jammer for Detroit. And it looks like Elle McPherson is going to be headed to the box for the D. So they will lose their pivot. Two blockers for Detroit, four for Rose City. But lead jammer, the ladies from Motown. No we'll pack situation, F and Money getting knocked out of bounds. That is a lot of whistles at one given time. That'll end the jam. Two points for Detroit on that one. I'm thinking that there was a no pack situation called and right as the hands went up in the air, Mick went in for a hit and now she's getting sent out for one minute. Absolutely, very keen eye, Dragon Lady. Rose City Rollers would like to thank the Red Velvet Parter Parlor. A beauty parlor and boutique with a warm atmosphere and Victorian flair. One of our new sponsors, the Red Velvet Parlor. And an official timeout called on the floor. Looks like there's some confusion on the Wheels of Justice behalf, trying to make sure they only have four blockers in place. And Blood Claudia was sent off at the end of that jam. And not only that, to make sure that you only have one pivot out there as well. That's right. In yep. danger there of having too many skaters on the track. Caught a little bit of a break with the official timeout. Now, I don't even know why the officials took a timeout, but <laughs> there's only so many things I can watch at once. Zebras like to pack up. Speaking of things with hooves, Magic Pony, what do you got for us? Well, I could tell you about the Vita Cafe, vegetarian and vegan friendly food for thought. Randy, you got that mic working for us? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> What's going on down here on the track yet, but I'm going to investigate and give you information of things and stuff. Or not. Maybe you could try the Unity pages. Building communities, one business, one organization, one official timeout at a time. <laughs> that was a brilliant segue. Well Thank done, you my very friend. Much. Way to make lemonade. It's official. This official timeout is officially long. And we've got the managers in there looking for some clarification. Hopefully, Randy will be able to give us something back. Meanwhile, Magic Pony. Well, I could tell you about Porcano, one of my favorite taquerias here in Portland. We're clarifying a minor and who received the minor. We're all good. It is clarified. Away we go! <laughs> all right. Just under 12 minutes left to play, 162 to 45 in favor of the Wheels of Justice. We're gonna start off this jam a little light. Wheels of Justice down two blockers, Detroit down one as well. Three to two in Detroit's favor. Who's jamming in red there, AK? That's Cookie Rumble with the star for Detroit. She's going up against Sully Skull Kicker for the Wheels of Justice. And now everyone's skating backwards. They wanna give a warm welcome to their jammers. Very nice job, a great heads up play right there. Cookie Rumble slowing down Sully Skull Kicker. Saw that outside open, took off and left a Wheels of Justice jammer in the hands of her blocking teammates. 
Combat Cat giving some big hits there to Sully Skull Kicker. Holding her back from clearing that pack. Napalm offering a little assistance, but now she's focusing on Cookie. Cookie Rumble trying to get around Rhea Derange right there. Rhea holds her up. Major forearm is gonna be the call. You cannot use your forearms to slow up those jammers. Meanwhile, Cookie dodges it. Five in the sky, grand slam for Detroit. And it looks like Combat Cat for Detroit is being sent off for high blocking for a hit on Sully Skull Kicker. Meanwhile, they've knocked her out and they kept her slow. Cookie Rumble slides around another five points. Grand slams aplenty for the one they call Rumble. And now, Detroit catches another break. And it looks like Mick Spire getting sent out for cutting the track major. This is just a revolving door on and off track with the penalties. Not too uncommon this late in period two. Still a skinny pack, a Cookie Rumble gets around one, picks up three points for Detroit, two points for the Wheels of Justice though, as Sully did make it around, picks up one for the block around the track and one for the kitty cat in the box. I'd like to tell you about the Buffalo Gap Saloon and Eatery, John Landing, favorite eatery and saloon, now streaming live bouticasts. That's the Buffalo Gap. Speaking of gap, Detroit working to close that gap. Big jam for Cookie Rumble, and they're gonna send Honey Suck it up to the line to keep it going. Hit off the line from White Flight for the Wheels of Justice. I mentioned a lot of people end up going to the penalty box this time of the bout. The hits get bigger, and they got a little harder. White Flight picking up lead jammer for the Wheels of Justice. White Flight quickly out of that Detroit pack. I could make a joke, but that would be tasteless. Moby Wan Kenobi and Mel Mingles, a two-woman defense out there in purple, holding back Honey. Honey sucking a little tripped up, and it looks like another blocker for Rose City. That's Rhea to range. No pack situation. They got to let Honey suck it go. She is out of there. Skaters quickly reforming so they don't incur any pack destruction penalties. Detroit forming a wall up front. White Flight picking up one more point on that one and called it off before she hit that and wall. That'll be the end of that one. And I, I want to say someone got a forearm major. Maybe Mo, maybe Mel, I don't know. Someone with an M. Don't know, but Rose City down two right now in the box. Official timeout being called. And while we're waiting for a word from Randy Pan as to what's going on down on the track, we'd like to thank Fat Lip Productions and Hemi's. Hemi's tubular pizza delivered till 4 a.m. After tonight's bout, after the after party at the B-side, get yourself some Hemi's pizza. Randy Pan, what do you got for us? We're just making sure everyone's cool, calm, and collected for some nice, responsible, socially acceptable derby. We don't want this to get out of hand. We're all friends here. We love it, the Detroit. All right, speaking of Detroit, Racer McChaser, number 28, with the Jammer Star for the visiting team. Sulfuric acid jamming for the wheels of justice. Racer McChaser speeds around to the outside, gets a little help from Mel McPherson, some lead Jammer Detroit. Acid is still sitting in the back of the pack, trying to dance around that back wall of red, who has now shifted their focus to the front of the pack. Wherever Acid is, they are hoping to trap her up there. Detroit keeping it tight. Close to out of play, but they do a great job slowing it down. Meanwhile, Racer McChaser through and around. Grand slam for Detroit. Acid trying to bulldoze her way through that last line of defense. And it looks like number six is getting sent out for an out of play major. That's right, she knocked her down and out of bounds. At least one of those will get you a major. Both is for sure gonna get you sent to the box. Meanwhile, Racer McChaser around and through. Three more points for Detroit, and she'll call it off. Rose City Rollers would like to thank Mike Thrasher Presents. If there's something going on in town, you wanna see it, Mike Thrasher's probably putting it on. Mike Thrasher Presents. 
huge sponsors of your Rose City Rollers. Now, AK, there's a lot of talk of out of play hitting. That means you're, what exactly does out of play mean? Well, Dragon, as Cookie Rumble and White Flight are on the jammer line, they're gonna be watching that pack. If the pack does not have blockers from both teams within 10 feet of each other, like they did for a hot second right there before Cookie Rumble got out and got lead jammer, there is no pack. You have to have a pack, otherwise no one can engage anyone. White flight hot in her heels, jamming for the Wheels of Justice. Detroit down one blocker in this jam. Wheels of Justice sitting in the front, waiting for Cookie to get into that pack. Nice job right there. Cookie Rumble picks up one point. Booty Liver saves a point, throws her booty into White Flight, sends her out of bounds. No pass, no point for Rose City. Huge shout outs to Harold T. Construction and the Doug Fur Lounge, Portland's hottest music venue and restaurant. Open seven nights a week, the Doug Fur Lounge. L. McPherson in the box for Detroit, down a pivot, four on three in favor of Rose City. Soul Fier er, Sully Skull Kicker <laughs> jamming for the wheels of justice, finally getting that second whistle there. And F and Money speeding up to the front, jamming for Detroit, Wall of Purple holding their back. Sully no getting, getting caught up in her respective red wall in the back of the pack. No pack situation right there. And F and Money breaks free, gets out lead jammer for Detroit. Detroit doing a good job here in the late second half. JK rolling, getting, JK getting sent off for a major forum. Rearranged, getting sent out for a penalty as well, leaving Wheels of Justice down to a two-blocker two pack. And the crowd is not happy. I think they were looking for some kind of major penalty on Elle McPherson for out of play. I think she just picked up the minor, though. Meanwhile, F and Money comes around, gets knocked around a little bit, back up in play, calls it off. Rose Rose City Rollers would like to thank Fire on the Mountain and the Nightlife Lounge, RCR's favorite Clinton Street Bar, and the only place in town to buy real live Rose City Rollers tickets. Four points on that one for Detroit. Pushes it up 71 points for the visitors, 165 for the home team Wheels of Justice. Jamming for the first time tonight, Miss Mel Mangles for the Wheels of Justice. And she's up against Honey Suckett, 1974 for Detroit, both jammers going out of bounds. Neither one can get lead because they stepped out of bounds before they hit the engagement zone. That doesn't mean they're not gonna try and Honey Suck It takes a big hit. That allows Mel Mangles to get out and get lead. I tell you what, she's dominated in the pack and doing a pretty good job here jamming too. I gotta say these hits are getting pretty huge out there. Wheels of Justice only having two blockers out on the track, still doing a fairly decent job of decimating what is wearing red out there. Mel Mangles threw for her scoring pass of four points. Mel Mangles getting some nice assistance from Moby Wan Kenobi out front to clear out the end of that pass. And of course, since this is a no lead jammer situation, we're gonna roll the full two, about one minute left in this one as Effin, er, Honey Suckett still trying to fight her way through. Meanwhile, Mel Bengals slides around. Grand slam, five in the sky for number five. Honey having a hard time getting around that uh, Moby Wan Kenobi. Now she's getting caught up in the front wall of purple there, but Mo is quick to catch back up with her. Detroit trying to trap a Rose City blocker, but a whole lot of fight. Meanwhile, Honey Suckett gets laid out by Moby Wan Kenobi. Mel Mangles absorbing a hit by utilizing her teammate's uniform. I'll go with that. To keep her up afloat. Another major penalty getting called in from the outside. Not sure who it was. Oh, it looks like Fatal Femme going to the box for Detroit. Meanwhile, another four-point pass for Mel Mangles. Big jam for that big presence in the pack, number five. I gotta say, it's pretty chaotic there watching the pack out there, AK. Three more points for Detroit to end that one. 
and we're coming up on the two minute warning. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's after party is at the B side. That's at 632 East Burnside. Get yourselves ready, that's gonna be a rumble. The B side. For our after party, your ticket or your bracelet gets you in free. Sulfuric acid jamming for the wheels of justice. And she's up against Booty Livers. Detroit sending out Combat Cat and Summer's Evil. Only two blockers and that helps Sulfuric Acid speed through lead jammer for the Wheels of Justice. Number 68 doing an excellent job of threading her jammer through the pack, Summer Evil there. Both back around, picking up some points and the jam is called. Both Detroit blockers knocked down, getting back up. She speeds past, picks up the two points for the blockers and two for the two in the box. 1.4 Detroit before that one's all over. Woo. White Flight on the line for the Wheels of Justice. Big game so far. Going up against Racer McChaser, the captain for Detroit. Detroit still at a disadvantage with only having two blockers on the track. No pack quickly getting called on that second whistle. But Racer McChaser playing some defense as the jammers can't engage when there's a no pack. White Flight getting a huge whip from her teammate, Moby Wan Kenobi, unfortunately getting knocked out of bounds, picking up a minor cut, getting around. She breaks out but does not get lead. Never passed Cookie Rumble, who ended up blocking her out of bounds. So no lead jammer thus far. Meanwhile, Racer getting bumped to the outside. Some teamwork. Couple Rose City blockers throwing the hit in there. Scratch in the eye, slowing down, forcing her to re-enter the back of the pack there. Rita Range choking her on the inside line. And now Racer is going to the box for her fourth minor. So Rose City with the power jam right now. Period clock has ended. Jam clock still rolls. And this game will end on the jam clock. No lead jammer though, so we're gonna round down this last minute with a power jam for White Flight. Del Bomber getting held back by four Rose City blockers, so they gotta let White Flight go. Five more points for Rose City. Rose City dominating the pace, pack of the pace, trapping behind them. Now all of Detroit has fallen back to meet up with White Flight as she comes through for another scoring pass. No pack situation means Fatal Femme through the block right there, and they're trying to get her off the track, so Detroit will be down to two blockers. Meanwhile, White Flight flying through over and over again. Big game for her. Be interested to see how many points she's scored. She's had quite a few grand slams. Well, Detroit losing another blocker to an out-of-play penalty. Eliminator hustling, trying to get up front. Meanwhile, White Flight slides through. Five more points, gets around Del Bomber, and that is it, folks. Unofficial final on the board. 197, Wheels of Justice, 75 for Detroit. Well, we're gonna wait for the official thumbs up from our head ref, Wench Warden, before we can confirm the score. I do think it's safe to say, though, the Wheels of Justice are your victors tonight, opening up the WFTDA season with a big win. They're taking their victory lap. We're getting the thumbs up. Final score, 197, Wheels of Justice, 75, Detroit Derby Girls. Congratulations. Our skaters in purple tonight skated hard. I gotta say, AK though, Detroit skated pretty darn hard as well. Much better second half for Detroit out there. Fought hard, had a lot of adversity out there. Tough packs from Rose City. And seeing as how these two teams have never played, you know, they had a chance to watch some footage of Rose City from Western Regionals, but I don't think we were quite prepared for as tough and hard hitting, as ferocious as the Wheels of Justice were. Well, and I want to put a big thank you out there for Detroit's team traveling all this way in this terrible weather, coming out, 
starting their three-day adventure in the Pacific Northwest, starting with Rose City, on to other things with Rat City and Oli the next two days. It is a long journey ahead of them. They played very hard, very valiantly, and I am very glad to have hosted them in Portland this evening. That's right, of course. You know, not gonna blame it on anything. Rose City earned that win, played very well, very tight out there. Hit hard, fast, smart jammers. Detroit definitely feeling it after that one. They took quite a bit of hits, plus a jet lag. They'll try and sleep it off and take it to Rat City tomorrow. Well, I wanna thank everyone for coming out tonight. And we look forward to Final score, 197 to 75. The Wheels of Justice knock out the number four in the East. Well, not the Northeast, but the East. Number four in the East, Detroit. Um, very hard fought second half. Uh, Detroit really worked hard to try to break up the walls, but in the end, they just weren't able to, to get the points that they needed. Very few lead jam statuses for Detroit, and ultimately... I think it, well, I think it was a big contributing factor. They just couldn't get lead jam the way they wanted to um, to score those points. So big final score, um, larger than I'm guessing a lot of people had expected. A um, couple shout outs, big shout out to Front Row Derby and Blaze Streaming Media for helping us bring this to you in high definition awesomeness. If you have questions about our upcoming games or if you want to buy a DVD of tonight's bout, make sure you go to our store at roastcityrollers.com. If you'd like to be sponsored in a future Boutcast and have me talking about maybe your sweet business or something of that nature, contact RocketMean, RocketMean at RoseCityRollers.com. Uh, also, get your tickets. They have no cue cards. I'm just kind of free-flowing right now. Um, get your tickets for our next bout. Tomorrow night's sold out, but it's going to be broadcasting live back here on the RoseCityRollers.com website in awesome high definition. Uh, beyond that, we have games coming up all in the coming months. Get your tickets. Better yet, get a season pass. That way you're guaranteed a seat. Um, got some really sweet upcoming games. Doing some traveling. Going to Seattle. If you want to know more about that, check it out at the website. There's also fan forums. You can get to know your favorite players. You can look at stats. And more importantly, you can review what just happened in this amazing game. So maybe you too can come play the Wheels of Justice. Beyond that, I don't have any interviews set up. Got no love for Susan today, no love. Um, but we have big love for you. Thanks for watching. Come back at any time, and we'll see you at the next game. Thanks a lot.